Hi, this is Robert at XI Computer Corp. And we are here today to introduce our PCIe workstation, is the M Tower PCIe workstation. Uh, we usually uh, support both the Core i7 Intel CPUs and the Xeon uh, CPUs. And uh, today we're going to uh, show uh, you the um, Xeon W3580. Uh, the Xeon 3580 is the highest speed uh, uh, of the single processor Intel Xeon uh, CPU currently available and it runs at 3.3 gigahertz. Um, this particular configuration is on a single processor, as I said. Xeon can also be um, installed on dual processor systems um, that have more, um, more utilization in, uh, in, in CPU intensive application. Uh, for a workstation that is designed primarily for interactive CAD, um, the single processor is quite, is quite sufficient um, we are running in the background here a uh, SpecView Perf uh, um, benchmark that um, is comprehensive of um, test uh, and, and benchmark scoring for a CAD application like 3D Studio Max, SolidWorks Pro, Eka, Thea, AutoCAD and so forth. And as you can see the unit is quite powerful and is going through that pretty fast. Um, a typical configuration like this uh, is that uh, we suggest um, you know, a nice 27-inch uh, uh, monitor. This is the latest Samsung has a 70,000 to 1 to 1 dynamic uh, uh, contrast ratio, real, real bright and, and, and very, very nice uh, image. Uh, we have an MK700 Logitech uh, cordless uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, the mouse is um, high-resolution laser. Uh, the keyboard feels real good, and even though it's not rechargeable, uh, Logitech now is supporting uh, the keyboard for um, almost three years use and the mouse for one year use uh, without uh, replacing battery. Um, case is a cooler, cooler Master Centurion. Here we have, um, it's very quiet, it has ample ventilation, uh, greeting in the front and uh, a big uh, fan in the front uh, to reduce noise, a, a fan in the top and in the back and um, option to install fans also on the side and um, we can take a break now and take a look inside the case and see what we got okay the case is open now and we can take a look inside and see what we got on the top here we got uh, six uh, um, dims of um, ddr3 1066 error correcting code ecc ram this is the major difference of uh, the Xeon versus the Core i7. The Xeon uh, uses an error correcting code RAM. It will uh, um, correct one bit and detect two bit error. Gives a much greater stability for number crunching intensive application as well for workstation class application like interactive CAD. On the, on the side here we have a 12 centimeter fan, uh, one on top 12 centimeter as well and one in the front as we pointed out before plus a high quality fan for the heat sink, uh, great ventilation, low noise. Um, motherboard of choice is the Supermicro, is an X8SAX, is one of the most expandable for the single processor configuration. Um, it's got ample USB and um, other interfaces here in the back as well, connector for the front. Um, video card for workstation class, uh, we, we like the Nvidia. Um, Quadro uh, class of, uh, of video cards. This is the NVIDIA Quadro FX 3800. It's a mid-range but quite powerful um, video card. Also has a special connector for um, stereographic imaging if that is uh, required. Underneath we can see uh, the motherboard has two PC, uh, PCIe 16X uh, slot. One is used by the video card. There is a PCIe 8x slot on a 4x uh, actually um, at 4x speed. Um, there are two PCI X 64 bit and one PCI 32, all standard but still useful for some uh, interface cards. All this expandability is supported by an 1100 Cooler Master UCP 1100 watt power supply, and uh, we have ample number of bays both. Uh, in accessible externally and internal. We installed the two 300 gigabyte Velociraptor Western digital um, hard drives. They are SATA 2, 
uh, and they are in the RAID, mode, uh, RAID zero configuration, so uh, great throughput um, at a, in a cost-effective way. Um, operating system is a Windows 7 professional, um, and we can see here on the CPU-Z little interface panel, um, the Xeon has four cores, and um, Intel reintroduced the hyper-threading on, the, on those uh, CPUs, so we have eight threads. Eight threads are of great use for applications like um, Photoshop uh, and the rendering application in general, where the threads are, are actually interpreted as a standalone CPU. That will be it for this presentation. For uh, further information, you guys can visit our website at xicomputer.com, and thank you very much.